is how we made bread for 75p per loaf. First thing you're going to do is you're going to add some yeast into some lukewarm water, add some sugar and give that a whisk. Then we're going to add some sunflower oil. We decided to make this video because we know how the cost of living has affected some people and we just wanted to show a cheap alternative on how to make bread for less than a pound. Then you're going to add some wholemeal flour because white flour isn't really the healthiest. Then add plenty of salt. But we're just going to mix it with white flour, but we really recommend that you add some whole grain as well, just to get more nutrition from your bread. Whole grain bread has more fibre and other nutritious um, vitamins that help with everything, so we really do recommend that. Then you're going to start kneading your bread like that. Add some water just a bit by bit, and just keep kneading it with your hands until you get a lovely soft dough but just keep trying to get all the flour incorporated and then once everything is mixed in together we're going to add some flour onto our counter and start kneading the dough on the counter you can see how soft it is but it's going to get a little bit more firm once we start kneading it on the counter if you find that it is too dry then you can add a little bit of water uh, same goes if it's a bit too wet, then just add some flour. Now we're going to split our dough into two. This is how it should look like at the end. You can see it's just one solid piece of dough. And we have our bread trays opposite that have been oiled up so that the bread won't stick. You're going to roll them out like this and put them in your bread trays. Then you're just going to pat that down to make it flat on the top. Now we're rolling up our other one. See, we've got two loaves of bread here. And we're just going to poke some holes using a fork to let the air out from the bottom so that it all cooks thoroughly. I'm going to add a bit of olive oil as well and just rub that on top. It's going to give it a lovely golden colour. You can use a knife if you prefer and you can also just slice it in the middle this will help get the whole dough cooked. And after 50 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, our bread's finished. We also let it rest before we put it in the oven. I forgot to mention that. But here you see like all of it has cooked properly and this looks like some delicious fresh bread. Try this next time instead of buying bread and let us know in the comments how it turned out. Thanks for watching.